Welcome to the valuation process. The following demonstration will walk you through each step you will need to do for submitting your annual valuation. You'll be using the same login process you are currently using for the GMA website. Once you have logged in, you will see a box titled Employer Retirement Portal. Click on the Online Retirement tab. You are now viewing the home page of the Employer Self Service. At the top of the screen, the tab you will be focusing on is a census feed. And to the left of the screen are each event we will walk through during this demonstration. Once you click on the census feed, the landing page will be the census feed history. Here you will see all the files submitted and trans transactions that you will be doing during the valuation. The next tab following the census feed history event is the census extract. On this screen, you will notice the default file name is census feed. Since you'll be retaining this file, please make sure to include the year for the valuation and the city or entity name. Once you have done that, hit the apply button. You will notice at the bottom of the screen, the extracted data from our system of all of your active participants. The next step is to hit the export button. You will notice a CSV file at the bottom of the screen. Please make sure to open your CSV file in Excel. Once you have done that, you will see all of the extracted data. At the top of the page is each field name. This is your opportunity to make any changes, whether that is to correct a first or last name or a date of birth or date of hire. Once these, those changes are completed, the next step is to provide gross earnings of the previous year's salary for your employees only. As you tab over, you will see a column labeled salary, and right next to that is the termination date. This is your opportunity to report terminations for any of the listed participants. Again, all the salaries should be gross earnings of the previous year for employees only. In addition, any new hires will need to be included on the file you will need to provide the same indicative information as the header, starting with last name, first name, middle name or initial, if applicable, social security number, date of birth, gender. If your plan has more than one type of eligible participant, meaning either employee or elected official, the abbreviation should be OFF for official and EMP for employee. The next label is class code. If your plan has various classes, please refer to your summary sheet which can be located on the back of your last valuation report to notate which numeric class number applies to the new participant. The next column is the date of hire. Then finally, the salary. Since the employee would not have completed a full year, please make sure to submit annualized earnings. Once you have completed the file with the updated information, please save this file for future reference. Once the file has been saved, you'll return to the employer self-service and click on the next event 
labeled census import. You will click on the search file Click the hit open button and submit. You will see a pop-up message which says file has been successfully uploaded. Click next to continue. Once you hit the next button, then you will hit the submit button. You will notice the landing page is the census feed history. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the file has been started and, has, and when it has been completed. The next event on the left side is the header information, which allows you to see the data range of the valuation and the current date you ran the valuation. The next event on the left side is the buffer. This allows you to see the file submitted and to make sure the participant's information is correctly formatted under the appropriate header on the top of the screen. The next event on the left side is the run validations. You will hit the submit button. Once you've submitted the validation, you will refer back to the census feed history event to see if the test data status is marked finished. Once that is complete, you will go to the errors warnings per type event. This allows you to see each type of warning and error. You should have a list of the warnings and errors and the steps to make the necessary correction. Please note, if you have any errors, you have to make the necessary correction. Once you've reviewed the warnings and made the corrections for the errors or warnings, you will need to update the changes to the file submitted. You will need to repeat the census import event again and to run the validations to make sure the changes were captured. Once this has been verified, you, mean, you may now complete the valuation census. The final step is the last event on the left side labeled Send Task for Posting. You will go through a wizard which will prompt you to hit the Next button until you reach the final page where you'll be prompted to hit the Submit button. You have now successfully completed the census feed process for the annual valuation.